So over the last little week, there's been some some little tidbits of information about Volume 8, which we thought would be a good point for discussing some of the potential plots and storylines for the volume. Yep. Um, so Aaron and Kara, Blake and Weiss's voice actors, respectfully, have both finished rapping, recording yeah. their lines for Volume 8. Um, yeah. Aaron particularly has managed to send everyone in a frenzy because she's fairly active on Twitter and decided to say after telling people that she'd finished recording for Blake that she needs wine because she had to do a lot of screaming. Yeah, because uh, she was supposed to be live streaming but she cancelled on that because there was a lot of scream. Yeah, so she so busted everyone's... her throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so everyone's now wondering why yeah, there and was all the screaming. What potentially could those two characters' plots be for the volume, with the information on top of that, that we know that the volume is basically going to be across two days. Yeah. There's obviously the potential amongst that for, like, maybe an episode or two to be, like, flashback, like, backstory, maybe a Team Stark episode that everyone always begs for. There's always the potential for that. Yeah. Um... If they're gonna do it that way, but other than that, it's probably it's it's almost good fun to speculate, especially yeah. when we get teased mercilessly, mercilessly by the voice actors and the writers. Especially Aaron Zig, mm. we love you, mm. but oh my god, what are you doing to us? <laughs> <laughs> so, what what do you think Blake's plot might be in Void Mate? She did take quite a back seat in the last volume. She did. Honestly, I don't know, and the not knowing scares me, (laughs) because usually we've got a bit of an idea. Can you speculate, please, instead of just telling me you don't know? (laughs) Otherwise, this video is just pointless, because it's just going to be you going, I don't know. what's your speculation? You're just going to pass it on to me. (laughs) What's your speculation? For Blake? Yeah. Um, That she's not going to have a great time. I don't think she's just gonna like get mortally injured or anything like that. Despite no. the fact that it does, that Aaron did have to do a lot of screaming. It's potential that that was like combat stuff. Hopefully, that was like very heavy to yeah. do, which is gonna be a strain on your voice if you're having to or do a lot of that. Or maybe she's screaming on behalf of someone else that's yeah. getting injured. That's scary. Yeah, or a big scurry grim appears. Or a big scary grim. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, something happens that's, like, one of her, like, worst fears realised and it's just all hellish. Yeah. So. I think everybody's going to have to, like, be basically ready for anything. Yeah. Is the vibe I'm getting with probably her story is that she's not going to be, like, a main focal point. um, Because a lot of this is going to be about somehow, somehow beating Salem in this situation, which I don't. I don't understand how it could be possible. No. At this point in time. So it's just gonna be yeah. I think her probably doing like a lot of like groundwork fighting. Yeah. Um like in and out, whatever they need to do. Um helping to formulate some kind of plan. Yeah. That mainly would involve what the fuck are we going to do with this giant fucking whale? <laughs> yeah. Did you also see Aaron's live tweets when she was watching Shira? And she said that something that happens to Catra kind of happens to Blake. And now everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, to be fair, so much happens to Catra in the last season of Shira that like it's hard to nail down. And I- I'm not going to read into that one too much. No, but people think that it might be um, like an an expansion on her semblance. That would be cool. Like being able to, like if she has a shadow clone... Then she can shadow out of it and then back. That would be cool. So that's what people are speculating because when Catra went through the portal for the first time, she was quite sick. And that seemed to be about the time that Aaron sent out the tweet was when it was around about that scene. So people are thinking, that's it. What? (laughs) Okay, I... No. (laughs) That seems a bit too... But maybe... But I'm not saying definitely no, but... Mm. It's, a, it's a definite maybe. I'm going to press doubt. <laughs> I would like to see an expansion of Blake's semblance, though, to be fair, because it's yeah. kind of limiting. Um, it's, it's good, good for good. stealth. And she's worked with it well. Yeah. But... And she has improved it little by little, but I'd like to see something really fucking cool with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just not as flashy as um, like other characters' semblance. I think that's the thing. Like, Waze's semblance is so cool. 
And then you've got Yang's, which is just, like, actual fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. And was that one of the highlights of the Aesop's fight when it got activated? Because it was the first time it had been activated in, like... <laughs> Well, not the first, the first time it got activated in the volume, not the first time it had been activated in years. No, but it was the first time it had been activated in front of the Aesops, from what we can gather, because yeah. they were not expecting that. Yeah, it was, oh. it was good. It was good shit. We're getting distracted by the last volume. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but, but what a good scene. But yeah, Blake, anyway. Blake's going to have a hard time, but she's going to be yep. okay, is basically my <laughs> thesis <laughs> for volume eight for, for Blake, she will get through to the other side fine. Yeah, maybe a little bit traumatized in places, but I mean, I think if any of them come out of it not a little bit traumatized, yeah, then I don't know. I feel like it's inevitable <laughs> that they're gonna come out of it with some trauma. I think Weiss is the one that I'm like more concerned about, actually, just well, yeah. purely on the basis that like she has so much at stake with this and everyone obviously does but she's separated from family like her departure from winter was not good no and as far as we're aware winter's the person that she has the best relationship with in her family yeah um and like her older sister yeah like she can't fight yeah and she left her in such a bad position Mm -hmm. which was obviously an incredibly hard decision to make in winter to her credit, gave Weiss a chance to flee. Yeah. Because she didn't really want her to get arrested. No, of course she didn't. Why would she? Because she, deep down she knows that what Weiss is doing is the right thing. It's just she can also make that call. Her hands are tied. I guess. I don't know. I think she's not... I don't think she is quite 100% like, oh yeah, Weiss is doing the right thing and I'm doing all the wrong things. It's no. It's that... Yeah, there's a lots of shades of grey going on. Yeah, like I think she can see where Ironwood was perhaps not, like, acting fairly or acting the way that he usually would. And that's why she was like, go, I'll give you a head start kind of thing. Because she has to give orders, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think she's seen the the fallout. I think that'll play heavily for a while, though, is the guilt of essentially having left another family member behind. Um, yeah, again. Again, was obviously what she did with Whitley and what her mother referenced to her. And then there's the fact that she's kind of left Whitley and her mum to it after Jacques got arrested. So. It's all fun and games in the Schnee household. Yeah. You wonder if, if Jack and Watts will see each other in, in jail. I know. And, and then Crow and Robin too, just slung in the same I mean, cell. Watts, Watts isn't in jail. He's not in jail. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. When he did he to get be. arrested? Uh, he was after out he got... on the street with... No, no, he got tossed. Did he get tossed? Remember Ironwood and him kicking, kicking yeah, shit up no, together? but then he was on the street, was he not? No, I'm pretty sure he was in a building looking out oh, and been like... Oh, you're <laughs> absolutely right. Hi, Salem. Yeah. Hi, big whale. <laughs> he was looking out. Like, uh-huh. yes, there's my bitch. <laughs> That's right. There's my queen, yeah. So I just, I kind of want, oh god, I'm so, I'm so off tangent. <laughs> you don't help. You gotta help, Sydney. You gotta help keep the discussion on tangent. I'm the one that distracts it, though. I know. <laughs> I don't help it either. You gotta corral me a little bit. <laughs> okay. um, have we heard anything from Kara about She doesn't happening? really talk about, like, um, like, I know there's an... Um, San Diego online panel for San Diego Comic Con, I think next weekend, that's going to have an okay. RT panel, which will probably have some Ruby stuff on it um, that we might get more information from. But, like, I mean, yeah, Kara's not, like, super active on Twitter. She usually just, like, tweets, like, some fan art or, yeah. or like, small things. Like, oh, yeah, she might say in an interview, oh, yeah, I'm finished. Yeah. Yeah. But aside from that, it's not like... By the way, I'm freaking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I kind of love too. Yeah. Because it means we have to like play a more of a guessing game with Weiss, but I, I'm very interested to see Weiss's story. Yeah. But uh, if you guys um, have any thoughts about where you think Weiss and Blake's plot lines potentially will go in the, the volume, then have at. Yep. What potentially could be the reason that Aaron broke her voice screaming. Yep speculation is fun <laughs> yeah. especially when we have to wait till like October and November <laughs> anything else Sydney? I'm just stressed because I wish it was now I wish we could just consume the media give me it now <laughs> but 
it'll be worth the wait. But we will try and like semi regularly post like updates that we find about Ruby. I mean, most of it ends up coming from Twitter, to be honest. It's yeah. A good resource for information and a little bit of a cesspool some other time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, if there's anything particularly interesting that comes out, we'll probably see if we can do a little little, little video. Yeah. A little video. A little video. You're going to flip us out. Flip side, y'all. <laughs>